Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Get Crafty with Sally. Um, today we're going to be making this card from the uh, Sweet Citrus Bundle. It can be found in the mini catalog on page 49. And as always, if you buy the bundle together, you do get a 10% discount on the price. So let me show you what we'll need to make this card. I'm using a piece of basic white cardstock. Five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Piece of flirty flamingo, cut at four inches by five and a quarter. A piece of basic white, cut at three and seven eighths by five and an eighth, and. That's what I'm going to stamp these little dots on and then dry emboss. Hopefully I don't forget to stamp the dots. And then um, I've cut a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half basic white to stamp the citrus fruit on. And then you'll need a, a scrap of basic white for the sentiment and the little leaves and the flowers. And I believe that I just used a quarter sheet. So that's four and a quarter by five and a half also. Um, I do have a PDF, a link to the PDF down in the des description below this video. So um, you can take a screenshot of this. You can write it down. You don't have to. You can always go um, check that PDF and Print it out if you want. So let's fold our card base. Get our bone folder and score that fold. So next, let's Stamp the little dots on the sheet that we're going to dry emboss. Um, I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo. I guess I could have showed you the actual stamp set. Here's the stamp set, Sweet Citrus, and the Sweet Citrus dies. And then there's also a hybrid embossing folder that goes with this set um, and you can either emboss with it or cut with it or you can do both at the same time so I'll show you how that works a little bit later into the project so let's get our flirty flamingo and I'm actually using the uh, splatter stamp from the new Irresistible Blooms stamp set, this one here. So I'm going to ink it up and I'm just going to go around and do several little marks on my paper here. That was the dog. Okay, that should be good. So set that stamp aside, close up my ink pad. Maybe. And then I'm gonna run this through the stamp and cut 
emboss machine. I'm using this embossing folder. I don't know if you can see it in this video or not, or on this camera. It is also from the new online items, and it's called the Basics 3D Embossing Folders. And I am using the one that it actually looks like little stars or starfish. Um, I kind of thought it matched with these little flowers. You can also use, of course, this embossing folder for the background. It would be great too. I have seen a lot of people do that. So let's put this in our embossing folder. And I'm going to run over here to a different machine and cut it, or excuse me, emboss it really quick. got something set up in my other machine um, okay so that's what that looks like so I'm going to glue this down onto my flirty flamingo piece I really do like to get the edges on these embossed pieces glued really well. So let's get our flirty flamingo. Grab a tape runner and I'll tape this to the card base. Hope I'm not getting out of the camera. Oops, I think I did that upside down. Uh, that was not good. Oh, I guess I'm going to leave it that way. So next, let's stamp our fruit pieces. And I'm actually going to use my Stamparatus for that. So I've already got the stamp in place and I'm going to take pale papaya and I'm going to apply the ink directly to the stamp. And then I'm going to take my flirty flamingo and a dauber and I'm going to get some flirty flamingo on my dauber. Let me take this off of here and see if you can see it maybe. And I'm just going to do a couple little spots here and there on these fruit stamps. You don't really need to worry about the lemon one because we're not going to use it. So we'll give that a good press. 
And you might have to do this two or three times to get the depth of color that you want. So let's add a little bit more. There's pale papaya, flirty flamingo, and you can probably tell the spots that you applied it the first time. Not that it's really going to matter. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to take this plate off and I've got the other plate and I've already positioned the inside of the fruit stamp on it. And I'm going to stamp it with pale papaya. And I'm going to take my flirty flamingo And I'm going to just go around the edge a little bit, the edge of each of these three. And then I also am going to use polished pink. Get my dauber for that. And for the polished pink, I'm going to put it more in the center of the fruit. And then we'll attach our plate. Give that a good press. And I think that could be a little bit darker. So we'll do that process again papaya, flirty flamingo around the outside. You don't want to quite just make a circle so that it looks like two circles. Um, it needs to be a little more random than that. Give that a good press. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's get this out of here. Next, close these ink pads up for the moment. Sweet Citrus Hybrid Embossing Folder. And this is what it looks like with, you can see the metal die in it, and it kind of just slides in there and sits. And then I've already lined up this paper, so you don't have to watch me mess around with that. So let me grab my machine. And for this um, embossing folder and die setup, you'll need the plate one and this plate four. So the sandwich is plate one, the embossing folder with the paper and the die in it, and then the plate four. And then we'll run that through. our embossed fruit. 
I did forget one step that I had done. Um, I'll show you this in a minute. I did, um, I did spray some champagne mist on the fruit before I embossed and cut it. Um, I guess this doesn't matter. Let me go see if I can grab a, a sheet of white paper. So the champagne mist, Stampin' Up! used to sell it. Um, and I've mixed it with 70% alcohol, about three quarters full, and just three or four drops of the champagne mist ink. So you're just going to spritz it a little bit, about a foot away. I'll do this one too. And with the alcohol in it, uh, it doesn't really take too long to dry. But it adds a really nice shimmery glitter to that. I don't know if you can see it or not. Okay. So here's the embossing folder. And then the dies that go in it. So they kind of, you can scoot them around a little bit and they'll like snap into place. They don't really lock there, but you'll know when they're there. So that's where you need them to be when you're using this. But like I said, you can just emboss with this folder, which would be great for a background, or you can just cut with the die. It's up to you. Or do both. Okay, so let's... This is really going to bother me, so let me... Flamingo, I need five and a quarter by four. Okay, so there, there's those pieces. my card base again and give it a good crease let's see I do have some more of these little splatter backgrounds stamped so let me see if I can quickly run over and Lost this again. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's see if I can get it on the right way this time. Wouldn't think that would make a difference, but it 
does actually in the way I laid all my fruit pieces down. Okay, make sure we get this the right way this time. All right, that looks better. So now we also need to stamp some of our leaves and the little flowers. Um, here's the leaf stamp from the set. I am actually going to use kind of the same process that I used on the fruit. And I'm going to use um, Granny Apple Green and Parakeet Party. The original card that I showed at the beginning of the video, I used um, Granny Apple Green and Pear Pizzazz. So what I did with these is... I'm going to ink up, try to just do one edge of the dauber, and I'm going to do the left side of the leaf, of each leaf. Just try to do the left side, and then I'm going to ink up some of the granny apple green and do the right side. And you'll probably want to huff on the ink, blow some of your breath onto it, give it a good press. Okay, and I'll do one more parakeet party on the left. You can use whatever colors you want, of course. And then granny apple green on the right. With my Granny Apple Green needs to be re-inked. Huff on the ink. Give it a good press. Okay. So, um, there are actually two dies for the leaves that came with the set. So that makes it nice if you want to cut out multiples. I'm not going to cut these out because you probably know how to do that already. And I did cut some out ahead of time. I will show you um, this sheet. The left, I when I stamped it, I did it pretty lightly. And then the right, I gave it a little more pressure. So you actually can get... Uh, different looking colors, different degrees of these greens, depending on how hard you press the stamp down. So let's see. I've already cut a bunch of the little flowers out ahead of time too. So I'm not gonna go through that process either. I will show you the little um, stamps that go in the center. I guess I should grab the stamp set. So these three flowers right here are all one stamp and then this is a separate one. So if you stamp a bunch of these, this group of three, this little stamp, these two dots, which is this one, is connected. It's one stamp. So when you've got these three stamped, you can go around and line that up and put the centers in your little flowers. And then there's a solid one for this loose one and this one. And you can actually match these two and this one up 
and stamp them all at the same time if you want. I did them separately because I did the centers different colors. Okay, so let's grab our citrus pieces and I'm going to lay them on my card and trying to figure out where I want them to be before I commit to gluing them down. I'll scoot that over a little bit more. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of green glue on the back of the circle citrus. I'm going to grab a couple of my leaves and I'm also going to take one of the leaf sets and I'm going to cut a single leaf off and use it. So let's turn all of these over. Hopefully I'm in the camera. Put a little bit of glue on them. And then we'll set our round citrus down in the center. Ish. And I'm going to put a, a single leaf on the left side. I'm going to put a double leaf down underneath here. I'm going to put another double leaf over here on this side and I'm not going to quite push this one down yet because I want to see um, where this is going to end up. I think I want that to show a little bit more. So let me grab my dimensionals. put three dimensionals on the back of this sliced fruit and I guess I'm calling this grapefruit from the colors that I used pink grapefruit also on the original card instead of the pale papaya that I was first stamping with the original card I used petal pink. Um, this might be a little more yellowy, vibrant than the petal pink is. It seems to be a little lighter. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this little slice. So the big circle is glued down. The other two pieces are both popped up on dimensionals. I'm going to tilt this one sideways a little bit. See if I've got time to wiggle that still. Okay, let's add some flowers. I will glue this one. Maybe. Unless I'm out of glue. And then we'll poke it under this. And then I'm going to grab a small, let's see. Grab a small flower. Put it under this. I'm 
And then I'm going to grab another small flower and I'm going to use a mini dimensional on it. And I'll put that one right up here. Okay. So now I am going to attempt to make a double bow and I'm going to try to do it the right-handed way even though I'm left-handed. Um, I do already have one made up ahead of time in case this does not work. There is not much that I can do right-handed other than drive my computer mouse. I think I've got a weird twist in that. Okay, I just need to tuck this under here. And of course, the size of the bow depends on how far apart you have got your fingers in this process. So then you can just pull your ribbons apart and you've got a double bow. So I'm going to grab a glue dot and roll it up, oops, a tiny little bit. With my fingernail. Put it on the back of the bow. And I'll stick that right next to this piece. And then we also need to stamp a sentiment. And I am using Flirty Flamingo ink for the sentiment. And I'm using the stamp that says enjoy the sweeter things in life from the same set. Okay, so that's good. And then to cut this out, I have actually used one of the dies from the rectangle stitched framelit set. It's the smallest one in this grouping over here. So I'm going to get my this up and use my mini machine. I'm going to Obviously, my sentiment is longer than this die, but there is a trick to make this work. Hopefully, I can do this without getting my head in the camera to do it. I'm going to cut this paper down a little bit. Got too much stuff everywhere. Okay, and then I'm going to just run it through from the top where the enjoy starts. So I've got my plate one, plate two. I'm going to put my paper and my die in, and a second plate two. 
better stand up for this. I've been having trouble with my back lately, so I'm trying to sit down and do this when I can, but sometimes it's hard. So I'm only going to run this through partially, maybe halfway, and I'm going to back it out. And you can see it's only just cut a small piece of it. So now I'm going to take the die and put it down at the other end. And you can feel it sliding into the grooves that have already been cut from the first time you ran it through. So I've got that taped down. We'll go through the same process. Plate one, plate two, paper and die, another plate two. And you don't want to run this all the way through. You only want to go about halfway. Back it all back out. And that's how you get a longer sentiment cut out with that die or any of those dies. You can also make it shorter using the same process. So let's glue our sentiment down. And I'm just going to put it like right in the center towards the top. Okay, we're almost done. I'm just going to add a few of the iridescent rhinestone basic jewels to the front. I rarely use the biggest jewels on anything that Stampin' Up! gives us. I usually use the medium and the small. So I'm going to take a medium one and put it up here. A smaller one I'm going to put on this center of this flower and another small one I will put down here. Okay, so that's the card. What do you think of this one? I hope you like it. Hopefully you can see all the shimmer and glitter on there. So here's the original one. Hopefully you can see a little difference in the color. This one's a little lighter that has the um, petal pink, petal pink. This one has the pale papaya. And then these leaves were granny apple green and parakeet party. And these leaves are granny apple green and pear pizzazz. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're getting anything out of my videos and my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button, share my video with your friends, or subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. I really appreciate you, and I thank you for stopping by again today. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.